So, John, I'm kind of curious about your life story. I want to know all of it. Yeah. I want to know beginning to end. Where did your life story start? How did it bring you to this point? You lied to me and said you were 30 at first, which I believe for a second. Start, what, what was a young John like? You know, when I fucking start fighting, I go fucking ape shit. See, I had a gun and I was going to them all. Someone stole my Bible. Take it. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Kowalski, analysis. Why would we let you break your passport, motherfucker? You always rip up the passport <laughs> trip. Yo, I'm not gonna lie though, that would make some good content for one of us to get stabbed and start to bleed out. That would be fucking phenomenal content. John Tent, also known by his fans' call sign of J J J J J J J J J J J J, which they spam in every Sam Hyde-related chat, is a model, actor, TV star, businessman, and entrepreneur. He first debuted on Fish Tank, a reality show funded by controversial comedian Sam Hyde. The contestants competed in various challenges in hopes of winning a grand cash prize. The catch being that every room of the show's house was streamed 24/7 to the Fish Tank website. John was one of the first contestants to enter the tank where he would often talk about his love of Andrew Tate and God, as well as plenty of other shenanigans he got up to. You know, like, when I was younger, I was mentally behind. See, I was smart, but they also, I was also aggressive as a kid, so they put me in a different spot where I couldn't beat up anyone. When I was a kid, I couldn't speak either properly at all. I've done speech therapy for, like, 19 years. I mean, not to patronize, but you, you speak perfectly fine now. Yeah. yeah, well, relatively now, compared to 19 years ago. How did you actually get on Fish Tank? What was the application process like? I saw a Craigslist ad, and they wanted a video, so I made a quick video. A video? Of just me talking about like, who I am, where I'm from, what I do. John was one of the few people in the tank who wasn't already a big Sam Hyde fan going into it. He didn't have any preconceived notion of what the show could be like, which makes moments like him trying to destroy Letty's passport even funnier. So the only thing I knew about Sam, about three months before I went on, I saw one random video of Sam, and this video was like him talking about Andrew Tate. Well, eventually he got kicked off the show after a bunch of stuff went down, but he would return to read the remaining contestants some Bible verses, and he eventually gave Airsoft Fatty a Bible as well. And before I even got on Fish Tank, the second they said they wanted to have an interview, I I was telling everyone like they're going to give me this position i already talked to god about it what he told me was going to happen one thing that i actually found really endearing about john was his reverence he frequently referenced jesus and god and how he wants to love everyone despite their sins and he even had me read a bible passage during our interview i have a quick favor for you Will you read a verse out of here real quick the bible yeah jeremiah 2021 to all your friends, with your own eyes, you will see them fall by the sword of their enemies. He told me he hopes to convince others to believe in God as well. Just try one for one month, one minute, every day, and see what's, what's the worst can happen, you know? Yeah. Could you agree one minute a day for one month for me? Sure. You pray to Jesus Christ. Sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no I appreciate that. He even shared a very personal story he had of a time when he believes that God saved him from death. Until I was seven years old, every night I would have a nightmare of this demon killing me. The last time he tried, he looked at me and said, I'm gonna kill you and no one's gonna find out. That's actually pretty common. There's a specific demon that goes out and tries to kill little kids. Is your stream set up and everything? Nice, that's cool. Sick. I got the ring light. Very professional. Yeah, ring light. You got to talk to Boogie. We got to get you on the Lol Cow podcast. That'd be good. No. No? I'm not getting on that sh Why not? Why do you think? Look at the name! Well, you don't have to be one of them. It's just funny to go on and talk to them. Nah. I'm not going on that show. Okay, fair enough. You interviewed Roger Stone from Trump's administration? Dude, yeah, dude. Roger Stone, long time uh, Trump associate and advisor was taken into custody by the FBI. Well, uh, you know, I've worked for uh, 13 national Republican presidential candidates. Uh, How did you pull that off? I just saw him following me one day on Twitter, like two or three months ago. Okay. And I was like, oh, sh so I sent him a DM. I said, let me pull up the DMs. And so I said, hey, man, I would love to have you on my podcast sometime. But you're a big Trump fan? Trump guy? I'm a little bit Trump guy, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Hey, personally, at the end of the day, the whole government system is corrupt. Corrupted? We all. By what? Money? Oh, whole bunch of different Latina things. Latina gats. Latino chicks? Especially this fine little ones, you know. Fine little ones. Yeah. Mama Cita. Mama Cita is Mama on Cita. Oh, yeah. Latina gats. What's that? I don't like the fat ones, you know, that, that have to be boutique. I heard you're going on Fish Tank season two. Who told you that? You tweeted it, I thought. Did I? Yeah. When? The other day. 
No, I didn't. There's no way. I swear I, you did, dude. Are you not going on fish tank season two? That stuff's classified. It's classified? Not. Oh, it's classified. Okay, I understand. Let me just take a couple of these pills real quick. What is this? This is called Sigma, I think. This is called Sigma? Can I take one? What does this do? Yeah, dude, take, take cup two. Take two. What is it going to do for me? It's going to get you pumped. It's going Give me to pumps? Ready. It's going to get you ready to kick some ass. What is in this? I don't know what this did to me. I feel different though. Turkesterone. Yeah. Turkey Tom, Turkesterone? Oh yeah, dude. What is this gonna do? It would feel like you're going through puberty again. Puberty? I'm not even kidding. Like more hair? Always take more than what the bottle says. So these supplements that John made me take are called Turkesterone and Sigma. It's tough to figure out what the actual benefit of these are because a hundred different sites will say a hundred different things. Some YouTube videos will say they're good. Some videos will say that they're snake oil. But I believe he got both of these from uh, Gorilla Mind, which is a company run by Derek of More Plates, More Dates, who's like a lifestyle fitness advice YouTuber kind of guy. He's been on Joe Rogan before, so that's how you know that he's trusted. I'm not hip to this new Turkesterone and uh, Sigma. This is all you need. Do you have water so I can get these down? Yeah, actually, the shotgun gun's dead. Yeah. Shotgun? I, I can't get too f***ed up, John. I can't get pulled over in roadie. You can't get pulled over? Why not? Everyone an alcoholic feel? Um... Beast. <sighs> they call you the beast. I heard they call you that. Ooh. But according to the Gorilla Mind website, Turkesterone supports muscle growth by converting more protein into muscle fiber. Androgen biosynthesis in the testes. So, ball, ball stuff going on, I guess. So, um, seems like a good thing to take to me. It might actually be good. I mean, I, you know, I'm not trying to talk shit. I see on your Instagram, though, I see pictures of you hanging out with girls. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's just me hanging out. With girls? Well, maybe, you know. They can't help hanging out with me. Fair enough. That makes sense. I know how that is. All right, well, you want to go to downtown Providence? Yeah. I gotta show people. I gotta rep. You know I see one of these? Yeah, dude. Fund my biz. Check that out, guys. QR code. Scan that. Commercial real estate loans? So I do everything from uh, commercial real estate, bridge loans, equipment loans. The really cool thing about us, though, by working with us, we're a lot better than a bank. Like many young men, John fancies himself a man of business. Through his ownership in his family's restaurant, his representation of a private equity company, his future ownership of his grandmother's Alaskan gold mine, his current designer clothing brand, his job as a driver of a party bus. From what I understand that your main business is uh, you run a party bus, right? Party bus. That's a part-time job I got about over almost two years ago. You drive the bus around with the, with the girls? What kind of people are going on this bus? Usually. Driving so many people on the party bus was the guy's birthday and the guy's wife would try to f me. The guy's wife would try to f you? On his f***ing birthday. Whoa. His future plans to start like a Hustlers University type thing to help young men learn entrepreneurship and many other endeavors that he's getting into that he told me about. He hopes to become a billionaire within five years. What is the, the Tate fascination? I just remember on Fish Tank, you talked about him a lot. Personally. The biggest thing about Tate is his business philosophy. I've always said this. Like, I, I don't agree with everything that everyone does. That's guaranteed. You steal people's attention. Influence is a type of currency. You need attention. Some people get that attention by, by doing commercial ads so that they're paid for. Other people do attention the way I do it, which is the way Andrew Tate does it. You say some absurd stuff on Twitter, and then you promote your He also wants to manage OnlyFans girls, of course, um, which is, you know, just fire. It's fire. It is fire, though. It is. I don't believe in fing but I believe in using for content and making money off of them. You gotta make X amount of content this week, and then they just go out and get them new clients to subscribe, essentially. Right. I have a deal with him starting in a couple of months. If I send him any females his way, he does OnlyFans and he can scale them, I should be able to get 10% per client I get over there. 10% for for oh. just like their lifetime earnings or 10% for like just like signing them on or whatever? I would get 10% of the contract with the company, essentially. Have you met any girls that you think you could get on there? Dude, OnlyFans chicks talk to me all the time. They'd be hitting me up for advice, and like, because I'm just cool, I guess, and they're like talking to me. Mm -hmm. And they usually reach out to me. Really? Yeah. What do you guys talk about? I keep it strictly professional when I talk to them. Sometimes I tell them, like, oh, you should do this on social media, you'll be able to get more views, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't do anything for them, I don't make money off of them at all. Free advice. I give them advice. I still want to help them. You know, I'm not perfect either, obviously. I'm mm -hmm. talking about over encouraging people to do OnlyFans wise. Yeah. That's stupid. You're part of the problem. I am part of Well, everyone is. Every type of content we make, I've not seen one type of content on social media 
that it's not part of the problem in some way or form. How do you feel about all the attention you're getting from all of Sam's fans and stuff? Has it been good or bad overall? Has it been mixed? What's your opinion on just all this newfound kind of uh, following you have? I think with every negative thing that happens, there's a positive re reaction always. I've been talking to Jibuskis and you know, Jibuskis, when he says he has time, he will do a podcast episode with me. He said that a while ago, but you know, he's been working a lot on making music. I think if he does a subathon with me, that would be a great comeback for him. Yeah, for sure. If you think about it, if me and Jibuskis did his 30 day subathon, like 30 days streaming, that would be huge for him. Yeah, all, of his, all of his old fan base will get reactive. So as you guys know, I have a big cigarette problem. John's will try to help me out with this. Lots of recommendations. And he recommended I try Zins. We're gonna try this out. This is the three milligrams, so kind of low. See, here it is, a little packet. Stick in your lip. In the words of Tucker, it gives you a sort of simian look. Sort of a, uh, you just say that I look like more of a monkey now? You do. A little you look bit? Like a Monkey. I look like a monkey? Is that good or bad? That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing? Dude, there's bad boots like a big ass fing ass. <laughs> Have you seen that? If you were bamboo, would you go eat a flamingo? I would I would eat a fing flamingo, but I would eat a flamingo. I would eat a penguin. I would eat a eat a penguin. Penguins are so cute though. They look so tasty too. Do they? Just like a big tortoise. I would eat a tortoise, snakes, sharks. I would give I would give a dolphin a try. I would well. I saw you were doing the raw egg thing for a little bit. How was that? Yeah, I love eating raw eggs. Is Dude, it kind of nasty to get down? No, it's, it's not bad. Why is it good for you? Like, would you just rather eat like a cooked egg? It's not necessarily good or bad. Like, there's some good porks and some bad porks, but it's just fast. That's the reason why I do it. Like, dude, you're going to try to sit down for 20 minutes and eat eggs, or you're going to join, just drink 20 of them. In our pursuit of content, we decided it would be wise to take to the streets of Providence, Rhode Island to interview the local homeless population. Once there, John began asking various homeless people about their thoughts on a supposed homeless LGBT who had been targeting innocent victims. Obviously that specific thing that he said hadn't happened, but it was kind of funny to ask people that. The person that was being a 13 year old girl was a transvestite. It was a dude with and So he was like a and essentially. Would you that And for the record, some people actually gave some pretty good answers about how to solve the homeless epidemic. You know, meanwhile, we were just there, you know, being degenerate trolls basically. Is there a Freemason building we could go to? A Freemason building? Yeah. I mean, there might be one. We should try to interview a Freemason today. Interview them? Yeah. I Aren't they like kind of camera shy? Like they're kind of afraid of the public? No, they're actually not. They're pretty, they're open to talking to anyone. Something good? Ooh, check this out, guys. We got some Christian books here. Are you Christian? I'm an Orthodox. Oh, Orthodox, okay, that's cool. Well, let's interview that guy. Yo, what's Across up, bro? Oh, Across the you street. You wanna do an interview? <laughs> no. It's important, HBO. I wanna interview this guy real quick. He looks like the dude. You can't? We can walk and talk while you eat, real quick. It'd be fast and easy and clean. I'm on the clock. You're on the clock? That's okay. I work for the government, I can't. I work for the government, too, on the side. No, like, I really can't while I'm on the clock doing this. You can? Well, we won't tell no one you're on the clock. He really doesn't want an interview. We tried. We'll get another one. Um, right now, people are hurting, but uh, it's, a, it's a tough question. Yeah. Something that's going on. First off, I want to compliment the jacket. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Second I appreciate off, it. I want to say something, but hey. There's a 13 year old girl, go a 35 year old man with and This I swear to f. He's not f. <laughs> it just sounds so crazy. What do you do? What do you do to make money? What do you do and just fucking do the most high? Do what? Yo, hey, yo, this life that we live is like a devilish game. If you see God before I see him, tell him I've changed. I've erased all the evil thoughts that dwell in my brain above the clouds. Now I couldn't even tell when it rains. I was dwelling in hell, shooting hell in my veins. On the corner begging for change, I felt very ashamed. I had impeccable aim, incredible range. I swear to God, from 30 yards, I could sever a vein. They started bumping that Fetty Wap, that's when the heroin changed. Back in the day, I wore the heaviest chain. Now watch me fall from fentanyl with Fetty all in my vein. See, I came a long way from sleeping on church steps. Thought I was worth less, I thought I deserved death. I knew I was in hell, I could smell the burnt flesh. Started shooting crystal meth so that I could hurt less. But instead, I hurt more, sleeping on dirt floors. I knew I deserved more. I had to learn how to silence myself and observe more. See, it's a turf war till they close that hearse door. I know the devil wants me to believe him and checkmate. But like Raekwon said on that purple cassette tape, I chose heaven over hell because I don't accept hate. Okay, so the past few weeks, there's been a, a whole bunch of going on with transgenders and uh, minors. Oh. What are your opinions on that? No homeless transgenders at that. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, okay, yeah. okay, bet, bet. Hell yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna be a, on a quick interview about homelessness. You can't get what you want unless you're 
unless you go out there and get yourself, go out there and do all the footwork. Everybody's like, either you're the predator or the prey. I'm a predator when it comes to going to get what I need in my life, not to survive. I'm starting to live life. There's this one homeless dude just the other night was f***ing this 13-year-old girl. Oh, no. <laughs> That's actually the victim right there. She's walking right there. That was the victim. That one? Yeah. Damn right there. What's your thoughts on transgenders? If you want respect as being a gay person, LGBTQ, WXYZ, whatever you want to call it, right? Do the prideful things in your own house. We are here today with Toki Tom, guys. Toki Tom is having to censor me down because I'm talking a little too crazy for some of these people out here on the social media. You saw someone getting right now. I know, I'm gonna get involved. You're gonna get involved? Get involved. Okay, okay, you give him a whipping, you beat him good with the whip? Yeah. Okay. With the yeah. The cool people that beat up the you would say? No. no, no. Why, why, why would people want to do that? There's been some <laughs> that's been going on. Come on, man. I'm being serious. I'm no, being serious. You're serious. Serious. serious and you're joking. Yeah, it's got to keep in mind, I'm, I'm from the mountains, not from the cities. I get scared of these hood rats. You like all the contestants? Yeah, no, I, I like all of them. I'm just a dick. Head sometimes, so I'm gonna be honest with them how I feel. You regret that at all or no? No. Because, like, imagine if I wasn't being honest, I wouldn't be happy then. Like, better to be honest and upfront with them. Let them know you don't fuck with something and have them hate you for a little bit. And then a lot of them, they, they thought I hated them. And I made it clear to every single one of them, like, yo, I don't hate you guys, but like, I'm gonna be a dickhead if there's something I don't like or approve of. I was just hanging out with Lady the other night. You know, it's, we had a good time hanging out. I don't hate none of them, though. So, have you got to escape the Matrix, John? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Build our own. Build our own Look. YouTube. Should we climb this? Should I just unplug it all? No, do not touch, <laughs> don't touch any wire. I know, I'm thinking about it. Nope, no, no, no. <laughs> Be careful of the sign though. It, it's a little rough with that. I wrap my thighs around it, essentially. I'm Turkey Tom, I'm here with John 10G, and this is the rewind. Yeah. Rewind time. <laughs> that's why we go to the gym, so we can climb poles. Yeah, I did wild and fall fighting. Oh, that's a bad shirt. Yeah. Yeah, what do you do out there when you're wild and firefighting? Oh, when you're not getting drunk and f***ed up and doing stupid stuff, you're actually doing the job and putting the follow out. The first big one was the July complex, which is where this is from. It was in Northern California, a whole bunch of different follows. I cut my ass on fall on that assignment, actually. What were you putting out? Was there like a fire in the forest? Yeah. So what does it look like when you go there, like from the start? We go out there every morning then. We do what we were told to do. Sometimes we do a horse lay, sometimes we dig line. 10 or 11 days, I carried uh, 120 pounds on me. Wow. What is your plan with all the stuff you're doing right now? Because obviously you're doing a lot of different kinds of content and businesses. Do you have like a five-year plan for where you want to be? Yeah, in five years I'm going to be 30. I'm planning on having a billion dollars by then. A billion? That's, that's what I'm planning. I'm filming more than my editors can produce. I have probably like over a thousand gigabytes that hasn't been edited. I think I have a different opinion than other people, but that's the definition of controversial, so I guess so. You know what would be funny if you broke into someone's house and filmed it? You know what I really hope? I really hope on the flight back to Oregon, the plane crashes. Oh, it crashes? Yeah. You're gonna die. No, I won't, because I'm a G and I got God on my side. Just for the crazy story of surviving a plane crash and having to find my way back. With that being said, it was officially time to get big. As a true Sigma male myself, I spent a lot of time in the gym. And you know what? I knew that the best way for John and I to show to the world our athletic prowess was to get the testosterone flowing with some dumbbells. Are you a big fitness guy? I love working out. You love working out? Oh, yeah. So where do you think we should start? What's the place to start? Let's we'll start with bench press. Bench press? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's do it. A little lower. Chest out, nice and big. There you go. Two. One. Two. Three cows saved. Four cows saved. Make Tate proud, John. You got it. I'm looking at you from heaven right now. I'm just praying you can lift this weight. You, you want to give it a try? Yeah, sure. I can't do this much weight, John. You're stronger than me. It's only 25. Andrew Tate, if you're watching this up in heaven, just know that I only did it for you. There's no other reason to lift weights. How does it feel? Does it feel good? It feels good, John. Yeah? Can I do it? Get your pump on? There you go. It's all you. 
How heavy do you go up usually? Uh, 40 is really the most I curl. I guess I could probably do 50 point with three, four reps. But... Yeah. What's the Sigma face? Huh? <laughs> That's not the Sigma face. What's the Sigma face? Do it, do it. Uh, I wanted to think there would be one. <laughs> Got this. Become the new Mr. Beast. What if you became the new top G and new Mr. Beast in one new bottom G? I'll be bottom G. No, that's some gay shit. Here we go. Tristan's gonna be so proud of you, John. Yo, look at that. I'm more of a blue type guy, personally, but. No, but <laughs> that's fucking bizarre. I've never seen that. Two. Come on, you gotta be better than Mr. Beast. He stood no chance against you. <sighs> you creamed him. You creamed him real good. Cream pied him the f out of him. I cream pied Mr. Beast? You cream pied Mr. That's Beast. That's a little sus. Hey. Bow, 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 you bow, kicked bow, his ass. That's how it belongs. <sighs> that was good. Yeah. That was good. My biceps are dead. <laughs> yeah. John Zolka, if you watching this, hit me up. I'm in Ben Oli and let's walk out. That's probably good. I think I'm done. Same. Okay. I'm good. Do you read the Bible? When I was young, my dad read the whole thing to me. I don't know that I don't believe in God, but I don't know that I do. I recommend you, you start giving it a thought. What do you have to do? Just start praying? That's what I would do if I was you, yeah. For a basic, basic level, just start praying to Jesus Christ. That's what I would do. I've never had him do me wrong. One time, four months ago, it was at 3 a.m. I was driving down from the mountains. But before I went, as I was driving up to the mountains that night, I, I asked God, like, am I going to die tonight? But I had a weird feeling that something was going to happen. As I was driving, I actually ended up passing out and crashing, going 60 plus up in the mountains. When was this? Just like three or four months ago. Totaled your car? No, only one scratch. One scratch on the car. It was insane, like one scratch, dude. Yeah. Like, and I was going 60 when I crashed. It was like a God will or something like that. And he told me that night I wasn't gonna die. You know, I-, I How did he tell you? Well, I asked him in my mind. You heard it, you heard his voice? Exactly, yeah. Would you start considering to pray to Jesus Christ? I consider it. You it shake on? It doesn't hurt, we'll shake. Yeah. Okay, bet, that's awesome. No, no, you, you good, thank the, you. Other cigars? Guys, we got Nick Caminos in the house. He got us a couple of cigars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Thank you, you Nick, thank you. Nick's say, looking um, out for you, man. Thank you so much, Nick, by the way. Yo, you're one of the coolest dudes out here. I feel like a lot of people, they, they like you said, the ego, it gets to them. And then they think they're the best. The way the world works, when you think you're on the top, you get punished, you get thrown down to the bottom. Yeah. You're always gonna get humbled. It's good, it's, it's good to be on top, but you don't, you don't wanna think you're hot shit. If you don't humble yourself, God will humble you himself. Tell us about this time on Fist Tank. Like, how was that? I was just in town hanging out with someone in Boston. I gave Jed a call. I was like, hey man, I'm in Providence. Uh, what are you doing? He was like, well, I'm at the fish tank house. Wanna come by? I was like, sure. I went into the basement, minimum setup. People maybe not know, it's just a, it's a couple laptops down there with some wires. Yeah. yeah, Jet was like, why don't you go in? So I put on the shark costume, went in. I felt nervous for some reason. I don't normally get nervous. I feel like towards the end, because like, if you look at the people on fish tank at the beginning, they seem a lot more normal. Like towards the end, they were getting... They didn't act weird to me or anything. I just was, because I've been watching them on the screen so much. Yeah. And seeing they were real people that I could walk around with and I was in the like the kitchen or the bathroom, I was like, whoa. So you were there for two weeks and two days. Absolutely. And then you and then you get you got like voted off or whatever. You come back. No, I didn't even get voted off. People someone was supposed to get voted off on that Friday, but they kicked me off on Wednesday. They're just gonna handle the shit I was doing. Uh, I was I was eavesdropping on them in bedroom number one that day. They were trying to figure out a way how to kick me off, but still make me look good to the view. Do you regret anything about your time in the house? No, I think everything I did was pretty quick. I don't think I could have done it better or worse, really. Yeah. If I would have stayed long, it probably would have been of more of a shit show. And so I don't even know, but like, in this household, there's a couple of slaves in the basement. Female slaves? <laughs> it's not my slaves, but I tell you what though, they signed contracts, I guess. Can we see them? You want to? Yeah? But what are your plans for future content uh, in the next like year? Where do you see yourself being? This next year, I'm going to be, I'm probably going to do seven short subathons. Anywhere between 10 to 30 days for this upcoming year. Probably. So like seven months you're going to be live? I'm just going to go live on everything until I get banned off of everything. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are drawn to my attention. Only wanted to be around with me. They saw the light in me. Like there was this one porn star that I actually devoted to Christianity. Because she was watching me all the time on Facebook. Really? Yeah. And she told you that? She did. You know that's what my name means. Gift from God. John? 
Jonathan. Jonathan. You say it like this, like Tate? Oh yeah. He does this. You know what that means? Illuminati? Yeah, Freemason symbols. Are you a Mason? No. Do you like them? I hate Masons. A lot of people in social media are Masons. A lot more people than you would think. And a lot of people that hate on the Freemasons, all Freemasons. A lot of big names out there. Mm. Do you know a lot about them? Mm. Don't ever get involved with them. They're fucked up people. They will try to get blackmail on you. I I've been having Freemasons contact me since I've left this tank. They want me to work for them because they know I'm going places. They want to get in on the ground floor. That's what they want. And they know I'm gonna be huge. And they know if, if, if I don't walk with them, I'm against them. A lot of 33 degree ones. Is that like the highest one? It is. And no one lies about being a Freemason, really. Let alone I've seen the proof. I'm a Freemason. Are you really? I just lied. Us 33rd degree Masons. We always have to be honest. I have to be honest with you. The whole point of us doing this video was for me to convince you to be a Mason. You gotta join. Why have you been ducking us, bro? We're trying to help you out. We're trying to get you on the inside. Don't you know what we can do for you? All you have to do is touch our orb. Check out my basement, checkered floor. We got a bunch of signs on the on the walls. You know, pictures of the Masons. I have an orb. <laughs> no, how I just how don't know. I just done like years of research into them. But you're not a free Mason. If that's the stuff that they, if that's what you think they do, that's that's what I know they might do. If I was one, but I'm not. But I am I. But God has given me to you as a gift by hand, by being here today. Dude, Dude I'm so thankful we 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 were able to. Link up. Appreciate you having me here, for real. Uh, Man, follow, all, follow all his stuff. Don't worry about me, follow all his stuff. If you ever come to Oregon, dude, I would love to take you out shooting. Yeah. Take you up in the mountains. Take you to my restaurant, of course, too. On me. On me. Absolutely. John's a pretty funny dude uh, in the way that he'll he'll catch you off guard with the things he's saying. One moment he's talking about Sigma pills, the next he's going in depth on his business plan to become a famous entrepreneur. And I actually really enjoyed my time with him. You know, I know a lot of people from the, the MDE fan base will kind of give him a little bit of a hard time for his voice or whatever, but I actually like John quite a bit. I liked spending, you know, the, the day that I spent with him. Um, I think he's I think he's a good guy. I think he has good intentions. I think he likes helping people around him. And overall, I just, you know, I had a really positive experience with him. I don't really have anything bad to say. Shout out John 10G, the GOAT, the GOAT.